Hello everyone and welcome back to our Central African playthrough where we are now playing as our third ruler who is um, Mamadou if I'm saying that right. I did forward a bit of time as I said there wasn't a lot that we could do unfortunately before this so we're now 16 years old. I only forwarded two years which gained us a little bit of prestige and a bit of piety as we couldn't do much before that. We married ourselves off to another Dora Bori um, follower. And we're also a wise man as I went on a pilgrimage in that time, as well as a pilgrim, as you can see. And literally just before I decided, right, yeah, it's time to continue, we was declared um, war upon by the Kingdom of Borgu. Now, I've got no idea why they've decided to do this. They have got 3,000 men, to be fair, which is quite a lot for such a small, small kingdom. But we can now possess around 13,500, I believe, so... I don't see this war going too well for the people of Borgu. Right, so we're going to change our rally point right over here on this side of the river. So it's going to be incredibly easy for us. And we're going to raise all of our men in this location. Now, our this is our first martial-based character. He's very martial-based. Sarkin Sarkuna uh, Mamadou. He is gluttonous, wrathful. Brave, a skilled tactician, a logistian. Um, he's wounded, a pilgrim, and a wise man as well. But we've got very, very impressive 22 marshal, which is decent. Well, it's, re it's really good, actually, for 16 for a start. It's not bad at all. So we'll go with that and see how it turns out. We have got one concubine so far. Um, the others are quite old, so I didn't see a point in bringing it. Then again, this one doesn't seem too bad. She's 27. Some decent stewardship. Why not? Let's take her as a concubine for now, even if she is a little bit older. We may be able to get some bastard children upon her. Right, so, yeah, let's continue to raise our men here um i'm gonna get rid of that as there's nothing really important there we have, we're in line to inherit a lot of stuff we can take another concubine and there's several titles that can be created my journey has been a long one but i finally come home again while much remains the same something has changed in how the magiers and magiers treat me i have undergone the journey of a holy man and they insisted to change something about me whether i can see it myself or not it's good to be home Right, so yeah, it's not going to take long for us to raise these men. An enemy ally has joined the war, which makes things interesting. How much manpower are they going to have due to that? Let's have a look. So the enemy army, wow, has 14,000 men. Ah, hang on a minute. We've only now got 8,000 men. Does that mean that somebody from within our own realm has... No. So why have we suddenly just lost... A huge amount of manpower. If nobody from our realm is actually joining, also so um, Yorubaland has joined in as well. Wow, and that's got big. Can we? Wow, this could be a this could be pretty bad for us unless we can maybe get some sort of alliance with Ghana, which would help us out. Right, so we've got um, we've got a cousin. Is there anyone that our cousin could marry? This guy is that any relation to him? Yes, it is. It's his son. And he's not interested in that in the slightest, which is not good. What about, is this his son? Yes, it is, but he's also not interested in the slightest. Um, no, This isn't good for us. We could be in a bad position here with the amount of manpower that they've got. I don't know where they've just gained all that extra manpower from. Um, There's not really anyone we can call into the war because we've not got any allies at present okay we're gonna have to see how we get on for what is this war actually for conquest of the chiefdom of yori which is oh just that tiny tiny bit of land there okay well we'll see how things go We've got eight thousand men here if we can do some quick strikes can we get to them in time no we can't so let's just go straight for their capital then we could get look at who knows um but they're crossing the river we'll let them do that with all their forces we'll go straight for their capital Borgu is only quite a small region. If we can keep on this side of the river, who knows? We might be able to pull this back. Let's have a look at our commanders. Those ourselves for the bet. Wow, we've got 27 prowess. That's pretty impressive. Yes, yeah, so we'll lead the army ourselves. We'll go straight for their capital, see if we can maybe get some decent hostages that are going to sway this in our favour. The gift giver. Two blue eyes follow me as I cross the hallway and a small meow breaks the silence as Mite pounces for my ankle. Ah yes, we have a cat called Mite. Uh, she may be young, but she is nonetheless ferocious. As she prances away, I see that she left me a gleaming gift where she had been hiding. Thank you, fair lady. We gain two coins. Nice. It's going to make all the difference in our war where we are losing a shit ton of money all of a sudden, which is not good. 
Um, your newborn son is your new player heir. Oh, okay, awesome. We have a son at least. Um, Majan. Yes, I quite like that name. Majan, why not? Has he gained any birth traits? Not really, but he has one learning, one stewardship. Right. Now, can we try and form an alliance with somebody around? Well, he's not got any daughters, so we're not going to be able to do that with the King of Ghana. What about Egypt? Was there anything we could do with Egypt that would get us an alliance? They do have oh, a son, a son, and a 15-year-old daughter. Wow, yeah, that's quite... Um, who's his heir? This guy here, the grandson. No, so there's not much we can do there. I doubt we're going to be able to get much of an alliance. They're too far away, and I doubt they've got much manpower. Oh, no, wow, 3,600 manpower. Um, I don't really like marrying out of our... Really no, he's not got anybody anyway, so it doesn't matter. We're just going to have to see if we can win this with less manpower. Hopefully, our prowess will help us. Um, I know that Tarja's going to be created. I think it's going to get rid of all this for now because it's just irritating. Right. How long to besiege this? Four months. Okay, we will just go for the siege of their capital and hope that we get lucky. We have an empty council position, so we need a new steward. Do we have anyone decent? Okay, you're pretty good. Oh, it's our woman and our champion with 20 stewardship. Perfect. We'll let her continue to improve our county of Dora in our capital. Yes, I know that powerful vassals want a council position, but they can get stuffed. They're not having one. Uh, you can lawfully imprison um, Magagia somebody, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to take this down. Get this siege sorted. Is that an enemy? No, it's a neutral army. If we can get these armies to split, especially with that river dividing, we may be able to do something. Um, you're first in line to um, inherit the High Chiefdom of Gat, yes. My second in line to inherit Gat. Not interested. Right, this is going to fall already, which is perfect. It would be so good if we managed to get some valuable hostages to put a quick stop to this war, but I don't think we're going to get that lucky. And there's an enemy armor. Could chase that down. Let's station besiegers and move the 7,000 to try and... Can we catch that army in time? It doesn't look like we're going to be able to. But we can try. Can we capture them in time? Can we get to them? They're going to go up into the mountains to avoid us. We may be able to capture the response. And the siege has been won. And we have captured a valuable hostage, which is perfect. Increased military presence as well, which is also perfect. Right, let's move these 500 men to this tribe here. Let's put a decent commander in charge of them for now. Our uncle, why not? And yeah, at least we can crush this small army just to do a little bit of in, uh, a bit of a dent. Get some war score. At least Borgu is very small, so we haven't got to get much under control one two three four five tribes to take care of which isn't too bad if we can split our armies around but close enough that we can get them back together if need be and we are up in these mountains so we have got that bonus as well let's march around to the tribe of the Un for now let's speed things up slightly keep an eye on the enemy movements if this 5000 comes along we could hopefully try and take them on if they get divided and try and do some serious damage and they are splitting up again, which is good. Um, let's station besiegers there, because we won't have to leave men there. And we can march the others down here to stand at the foot of the mountain. At least then we can leave these smaller units up in the mountains, where they're fairly safe with us guarding the eastern um, way towards us. And these are splitting their armies up massively, which is very good. It's going to work perfect in our favour. If we just sit here and we can assess situations from down here in these hills, where we will get that bonus. We could always... Stand in the mountains instead, actually. That might be better for us, to be honest. And we're losing so much money. We need gold. There's no way of us getting gold at the moment while we're at war. Let's forward things along so we can get the sieges out of the way a little bit quicker. I do hope you're still enjoying the series, guys. And I hope you've been enjoying the Alfred the Great series. I've been absolutely loving that one. It's one I said I wanted to, uh, I've wanted to do for quite a while. So it's awesome to finally get around to that. As might approaches me with yet another dead rat, I can do nothing but praise her. The castle has never been this free of rodents before. Keep up the good work. Rat free for five years. Lovely. It's just what we want. Perfect. Um, should we march this army down to... I don't want to get caught between those forces. Then again, it would take them a while to cross the river. No, we'll wait. We'll be patient. We'll wait until we get these several small fortresses under siege for these small tribes in the mountains. This one's going to take quite some time to do because it's got city walls by the looks of it. Let's get a commander in charge. Let's go with this guy. Um, how long is it going to take? Yeah, two years. Wow, that is an insane amount of time. I may just leave that one for now. 
Let's leave that one for now. March those back eastward and get our units together. We'll leave that one till last if we have to. And perfect, they are marching westward. Oh, but that has a lot of men. But if we can get the high ground and stay in the mountains, and hopefully they'll come towards us. And now they're splitting again. Okay, we've got them. They're not they're not tempted to march into the mountains, which is good. So we're fairly safe here at present. And we are winning, which is good. Let's merge these back together. Should fall any second now. A faction targeting us has disbanded, which is good. Where are they marching off to now? Okay, they're going off somewhere. There's not really anywhere around here which is going to give as much as a bonus. And we've taken a prisoner, perfect, and gained some gold. Can we ransom either of these? Ten gold for that one. We could do with a little bit of gold, so we will ransom that. Now let's march both of these armies together onto this capital just so we can join forces again. And then I think we'll take probably the ones in the drylands. I think we have a commander who's decent in the drylands, and that's been accepted. Can we ransom this other guy for, yeah, 10 gold as well. We may as well do it then, aren't we? And get that little bit of coin. Not that it's going to make much of a difference in that huge debt penalty that we currently have. And they've completely marched off altogether. That's perfect. We could get the river crossing and defend it quite, quite well. Let's march on to the supply limits. Not great there or there. Um, let's march on. 1500 you march to this tribe here in the dry lands and the 6000 you march onto this one if we can get these two taken we could always go here and wait on the ford and try and defend that might not be a bad defensive position to take how long is this one going to take to siege only 10 months that's not bad that's not bad at all if we station some besiegers here actually let's do that and then move our main force up here get all three under siege at once it just leaves that one for the two years, which we could just march a small um, amount of men left to take that. How much manpower does the opposition army now have? Still 13,000, so they still have a number is five, fat by 5,000 men, but that's fine. Is this an enemy army? No, just neutral army, so that's fine as well. Let's station besiegers there, and then move the 5,000 here, just to guard the ford for now. Where is the next river crossing? Quite southern, which is good. So they'd have to march around. We see them coming. That's fine. I hope that we can win this with our much... Uh, well, we're at a massive disadvantage, really, aren't we? 5,000 men. Do we have commanders in charge of these armies? No, we don't. So let's get you in charge of this one. And in charge of this, let's go for our uncle. And then is anyone in charge of this one? Yes. Oh, this is you still alive? Wow. 66. You are a beast. You've been around for so long. My God, you've got so many traits. That just shows how old you are. But yeah, hopefully we can... Oh my god, this is another fort. So this is going to take a long time to siege. Oh no, 12 months. It's not as long as the one in the mountains. That's that's better then. That's not too bad. Let's speed things up slightly. Is that the enemy armour? Yes, they are now marching around the jungles on their way to us. So we do need to... We will be able to take this in time. I don't want to lose any manpower. We could do with all the manpower we've got. Let's march these 5,000 south to join them. Just to give us a bit of reinforcement and hopefully then... Where are they now off? Are they back off to the Ford because they've seen us moving? Hopefully they are. We have unlocked a martial bonus, which is good. That could help us in this war. But we haven't actually got anything at all. Um, we could improve our prowess. Um, our dread. Or our claims. No, we'll definitely go for the prowess then. That's going to help us with what we need right now. We've lost a siege. That's fine because once these castles fall here, well, these tribes fall, we're going to gain a lot from that. So that's fine. And this is about to fall very soon, so which is very good. Right, stay where you are for now. So we can guard that bit there. And we can see where the enemy are coming from. I'm surprised that they've left us so long before they come back. Um, okay, our concubine is pregnant, which is awesome. As I walk outside, I am greeted by the sight of my vassal, uh, Nina, crouching beside my cat, Might, tenderly petting her head. This is quite the lovely cat you have, my lord. That increases their opinion of us by 20, which is nice. And here they come. They're now marching eastward. Um, oh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? We've got armies up there. We've got armies down here. Let's march the 5,000 back to the forest. Try and defend that. This is not good. That's a lot of men now marching around. Increased military presence. Perfect for five years. This could be where we get caught out now because they are bringing the majority of their hosts. This needs to hurry up and fall. Come on, it needs to fall in time. 24 days, it's not going to fall in time. Let's merge these together. Let's get this castle. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. They're going to get us. It's going to fall. Is it going to fall? Is it going to fall? 
Come on, please. No, we're not going to get away in time. Didn't get the siege done in time. Two days remaining and we're not going to get away in time. Can we get away in time? I doubt we've got much chance of escaping in time. But at least we got the siege, the war score. Which um, didn't give us much. But we're now going to lose 1,400 men, which is not good. We need this to fall here so we can get those 900 men over there. Yeah, that is going to be an absolute slaughter. Can we raise any more men? We've literally... Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Can we cancel that disband army? At our green rally point, is there any way we can... Is there any more manpower that we can raise there? Any reinforcements will do. A couple, a hundred, a thousand. Oh my god, that is a lot of manpower coming our way now. If we can just get this castle to fall in time. So that we can cross the ford or get to the mountains. But I don't think we're going to be able to do it. We are going to lose this war. Which is unfortunate. We gave it a good go. I was quite... Quiet... Co quietly confident for a moment there. But it seems that... That, com that um, confidence was foolish. Right, let's have a look at marshals. Let's have a look. Well, we haven't actually got that many good marshals. We'll go with you. For now. What's our issue? Powerful back. Yes, I, well, it's tough if you require a council position. You're not having... My God, they've got... How have they now got 16,000 men? It says 12,000 here, but they've got 6,000 here. What the, what the hell? But at least our armies are retreating the way that we need them to. <laughs> let's, uh... Right, let's see what we can do. All of... No, we're going to have... We're still trying to siege that castle, aren't we? Let's march that way. Where are those? About? They're going to have... Do they really have to retreat all that way? If there's an army here that belongs to us, why can they not just retreat to there? That makes no sense. Why would they march past them to then come back? It makes no... Oh, my God. 16,000 men. And we've nearly got this siege, so I really don't want to abandon this siege. Um, two months remaining... Do you know what? We're gonna have we're gonna have to abandon that siege for now. Let's get across the river. Or oh, actually, we could. Let's march into that mountain instead. We can reassess stuff from the mountains. We'd be better defended there. And now we're not going to be able to get there in time. We're gonna have to say, let's send all of our manpower in and see what we can do. We've got some decent commanders, so let's see what we can do. I don't see it working against 16,000 men. I doubt we're going to get that looker. We're outnumbered by 10,000 men. Yeah, we're getting slaughtered. Absolutely slaughtered. Oh my goodness. What a disaster. We could get free gold though from a siege, which is nice. Can we... Is it an option? Can we offer white piece while we're drawing? No, we can't. And now our armies are splitting in. 3,000 men. We may as well surrender, haven't we? Because we're not going to win this. Let's surrender. Yes. We've got no chance. So be it. They took that tiny bit of land back from us. That's fine. We'll get revenge. We will get revenge. Don't you worry about that. Let's have a look. Faction created against us. He's got a zero-year-old son. Why don't we have a daughter? We have our cousin, but he's not willing to accept a cousin. It's not good enough for him got no gold no well we've got enough prestige to do something but not there's not a lot that we can do without the gold we can't declare any wars to get our own power we need a new steward again um yep yeah, you'll do you've got 20 stewardship that's not too bad we can imprison someone and yeah nothing interesting nothing of importance and now we're very 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 low on men not a lot of manpower um awesome one of our concubines Oh no, our wife, our actual wife is pregnant. That's good. Can we... We can still take two concubines, so... Okay, you. You're perfect. 16, yes, you'll do. Perfect. Of age, hopefully we can get some more children. I'm just going to forward things all along fast so that we can try and get ourselves out of debt. Um, is there any decisions that we can do to try and get... We can hold... Okay, um, hold mystical communion. Yes, let's do that. Let's see if we can get the Possessed trait again. We could really do with that. Um, you gained 300 learning lifestyle experience. You gained divine guidance for five years. Perfect. Um, and 
Um, for all the authority I supposedly wield, a Sarking Sarkuna, I cannot be everywhere in the realm at once. There will always be those who forget to obey my orders once my attention is turned elsewhere. This is where my aunt, Magagia Sia, could come in, who has been faithfully enforcing my decrees within her own domain. Could she serve as my right-hand woman and take more active role in administration in my realm? Um, yes, she will serve me well. You gain right hand. Yeah, why not? Um, greetings, my liege. I hereby invite you to a feast at my court. It will be my pleasure. Um, we could probably do with doing some raiding, couldn't we, and get some gold. It's no secret that my prisoner, Sierra, is carrying a child conceived for a sinful union. She is not married. What? She's not a married woman, after all. However, who father the child has been a myster mystery until now. Sarking Gadi Bayajida is the one responsible. Is that our brother? No, it's our uncle. Okay. Um, it might be necessary for us to go raiding, but we only have 5,000 men. We could... That's 500 coin, though, isn't it? We could bring back... Raiding might be necessary. Let's... Let's do it. Let's go... Let's, um... Move this. Oh, no, we're going to have to just raise all raiders, aren't we? Yeah, let's raise all raiders, and then we can march. March north. Most of them are... And then again, we could march west instead. You know what? I really want to raid Borgo now, considering everything they did. Let's do it. 3,000 raiders down here. Let's do it. Let's raid them and teach them a lesson for after what they did to us. And we're going to raid some raiders up here as well. Let's... What a decent amount, actually. 1,800 men. Let's go up here and raid that for 17 gold. And you guys... Is there anything here that can be raided? 3 gold. 27 gold there. Very nice. Right, let's, let's march straight onto that and raid that. Oh, we can't until we take this one. So we'll take this first and then we'll go over there to raid... All of this land that's literally impassable, that makes our territory look so much bigger than it actually is. Right, let's go do some raiding. That raiding isn't going to take long over here, which is perfect. It's only a little bit of gold, but it's worth it to make sure that we can get this next province. It will result in a couple of deaths, but that's fine. Stockings in the stores. Um, with a mighty burp, I push the rest of my plate away from me and sprawl back in my chair. Lately, my kitchens have begun to swell with golden grain and freshly hunted game, giving all my courtiers the healthy sheen of the overfed. I grimace, though. This bounty is great. It cannot last forever. I must decide what to do with all of this excess food. Salt or smoke it? That would... Oh, no. That would make us stress. My guests and I shall dine richly. Um, we get nearly empty stores for 15 years, but we gain prestige and lose stress. Um, we'll go with that. Why not? We could do... If it suits our character and that's what he wants, then... It's best to do that. A ruler in the making, there is no end to the opinions and wants of my son and heir, Majan. Half the time he is trying to tell me what to do instead of the other way around. He gets the bossy trait, which is good martial-wise, I suppose, so it's not too bad. Have they arrived yet? Not yet. They're taking their time to get there. I just want to raid these just to get a bit of revenge on them for what they've just done to us. Um, praise the Tree Spirit's Bado has given birth to a perfect little son. Uh, let's name him Aftar... Uh, after an ancestor actually a good house to name let's have a look what we've got something a bit different king kin i don't think we've had a king kin yet so let's go for that how long is this going to take to raid 26 days that's not too bad fast forward and we get a good loot from that as well i just want enough to get us out of debt so we can actually do something not going to take too long 10 days nine days there we go perfect let's just return home with that loot that'll do and we've taken a prisoner in the siege as well which is perfect let's we need to make ourselves lead this of a raiding party don't we so we've got chance of some of the um events firing which will give us a little bit more in the way of rewards let's have a look hopefully we can ransom this prisoner that we've taken hopefully they're worth something only 30 gold, but that's enough to get us out of debt, so that's perfect. That's fine. And we'll just do one little raid up here. How much is this? Oh, 17 gold there as well, which is nice. Uh, you inherited the kingdom of the Sahara and two other titles. Okay, so someone in our family has died. Um, nothing in this world is certain, especially in times of war. The Saharan claim on the high chiefdom of Kagha has been no different. As this conflict is no longer against my vassal, Saria Yuna Ina but my vassal Gladimir Banu instead, it might be wise to reevaluate the situation. Okay, so what is this war that we're actually having here then? Let's have a look at it. So it's Saharan claim on high chiefdom of Kaga, which is where? 
Kaga, Kaga, Kaga. Do we not own this land already? Is that not already a part of our empire? Yes, it is. So, um, no, we don't want to... No need for that war now. Because that's our vassal anyway. So it doesn't matter. We need a new chancellor. You're pretty good, so you'll do. Get rid of all this crap. These are annoying. I wish there was... They didn't come up so big. They're just always in the way. And we've managed to loot 30 gold as well. Are we finally arrived? My god, it's taken us a hell of a long time to get up there. Right. We've got 200 men there. Let's disband. And we've got... Wow, a lot of... No wonder we lost so much of our manpower. They're all over here. Flipping involved in this stupid, pointless war. That's probably where they all went then, to be fair. Let's disband as well. And we'll disband these raiders. We only wanted to do a little bit of raiding just to get ourselves out of debt. And we're now it's 200 gold, which is nice. And we've got the Saharan Kingdom to give away as well, which will hopefully... We can transfer some vassals. So, yeah, let's do that. And... Let's have a look who we've got up here. Chiefdom of Germa. Let's have a look at you. Our cousin. And then who have we got in this other one? Dust our vassal. Let's give it to him. So he's not... Actually, no. Let's give it to our cousin. Let's keep it in the family. Grant titles. The Kingdom of the Sahara. And the kingdoms that go with that. Grant titles. Perfect. Done. To the six-year-old. But it will keep him on side. And perfect. Finally. We finally made it to the raiding area. We could always do a bit of raiding in the Byzantine Empire as well while we're here. If they're worth it. Is there anything there worth raiding? Five gold. Ten gold. Not really. I only wanted to do a little bit of raiding for now. We can go on a bigger raiding party at a later, at a later date. And we need a new chancellor again. Um, 19. Saw King Gaddy uh, Kambin, our uncle. Yep, yeah, he'll do them. Why not? Get them home. And then we can disband them. Gets us some gold. And then we can reevaluate to see what we want to do next. Hopefully our troops will... We can negotiate an alliance with him. Yeah, we'll do that then. Wait for the troops to get home. It shouldn't take long. And then we'll end the episode. There we go. We're back. Alliance formed with him as well. Marvellous news. 17 more gold brought home. We've got a lot more gold than we did have. Let's disband those raiders then. And we can forward things along and get a bit more gold. But we will end this episode here, guys, for now. Not the best episode, achievement-wise. We actually ended up losing land for the first time this series i think so hopefully we can sort that out in the future thank you all so much for watching as always i really hope you've enjoyed please don't forget to like and comment down below and hopefully i'll see you all very soon for the next episode